playing on stage. Loves playing on stage in front of the TV cameras, in front of an audience. 85. Great last well, dark. No, well, normally Dennis moves over to the 18s when the bed's blocked, but he doesn't, doesn't seem to be doing that at the moment. Well, it's now or never for Dubbridge. He really has to, to find his A game. 140. Pull that last dart, just snatched it a little. Well, we're still not going to give it hope because he was 2-0 down in the second round of the tournament against Matt Clark and came back to win 3-2. So he still knows that there's still a lot to play for, but he still needs to hit, especially the doubles. He's hit the trebles quite well, but the doubles, he's just not hitting them at 41. all. Yeah, if you're just joining us, Dubbridge missing four darts to win the first set. It changed the face of the game, and Priestley has won five out of the last six legs and needs only one more to book 100. his place in the semi-finals. Well, Mark is slightly ahead in this in this leg here, but Dennis needs to make inroads. Doesn't want to be throwing the throw away because then Mark would have the off then to win the set. Could this be another 180 from from next per man? No, just above there, but he'll be happy with a 140. 100. Well, Mark's still got the onus in this leg now, but still needs to capitalise. Seems to have got his scoring range back. Going to probably leave a finish here. One six one when he comes back to the board. Dennis needs a big shot here, 105 or 140 to put himself into a winning position. Again, the perfect Priestley dart. He'll probably go for the 25 here to leave at least a 170. Is it the, is it the ball, so it's a smaller finish? But the reason he went for the 25 was if he missed the ball, still left a finish. Treble 17 now for Dubbridge. He's given himself 82. a chance here. Dennis, you require 145. Poor last out there for Mark. Treble 20 would have left double 12. 79, he may only get one dart at the double. Dennis, beats his trouble 15, will have one dart at the double for the match. <coughs> well, at least 17, before he went for trouble 10. So he'll probably go the same way. 85. Yeah, 60 left. Mark and Mark. A lot, of, a lot of pressure on this shot for Matt now. You'll go for the treble 19. This is to stay in the tournament. One dart at double top. 44. Well, that, was a, that was a poor dart. Dennis he really did 60. snatch that one. Priestley then for a place in the semi-finals. Double top. Double top for the match and a place in the semi-finals. Double ten. No score. Oh, Just below. Crucial doubt there. Gives Mark another chance. Mark required 35. Well, I think Dubbridge believed there that this match was over. He's been thrown a lifeline. Double eight is the target for Mark Dubbridge. And again, he score. has missed, and that has been his Dennis problem. Double trouble for Dubbridge. And it looks like costing him a place in the last four. Well, Priestley will try again for 60. Well, Dennis, can't believe he's getting another shot here. Doesn't want to be missing this now and giving Mark another chance. Two darts in his hand to win the match. Double 10. Crucial dart. Well, both players feeling the pressure there. Mark both players. 16. This leg still ain't over. Four darts. Uh, Dennis Priestley has missed to win the match. Mark Dubridge yeah, takes us into a deciding Mark leg Dubridge. in the third set. And Dubridge will have the darts. Third leg, Mark to throw first. Game on.
coming downstairs there with a bad lie on the first. 43. Well, a big chance here for Mark. If he won, if he won this leg, he would have been back into the match. But poor start there. The one, the one thing that you can say about Dennis Priestley, we know that, that, that several players who, who, who really, really, it affects when they miss big chances, but Priestley isn't one of them, is he? He just gets on with the game. He knows he's missed a chance to win it. And he'll be saying to himself, well, I'll do it the next leg instead. It, it, it just never seems to, to bother him when he misses. That's Other right. players, it does. That's right. He's got the positive mental attitude. Always believes in his own ability. 81. Knows he missed a chance there, but he knows because he's so far ahead that he's going to get another one somewhere during the rest of the game. Well, he's already taken the darts off Mark Dubbage here. Moving, moving in for his number six, 180. 140. Quite happy with the 140 there, Matt. 155 behind. Yeah, ton 40, ton 40 to start off this leg. And it's all credit to Priestley. Those missed darts for the match. And our way. 97. Way out of his mind. It's history. This is the present. He's got another great chance here to win the match in this leg. Well, 2 2 1. He'll be looking to kill this in six darts. Got all of the bed to aim for. Just went slightly left. He'll stay there. 1 3 5. He'll take that. 95, 95 leads. 1 2 6. Mark Labian back on 280. He'll be bitterly disappointed, Dubbridge, with the way he's performed. We, we know that he can play so much better than this. Well, that look said it all with Mark walking back to the board. Big sigh. Well, 19 for the bull, but if it's it, trouble 19, he'll go for double six. That's bullseye for the match, but he may go for 10 to leave double top. 86. Knows he's got plenty of time. Mark on 239. Knows he's going to come back to board to win the match. And he may have six darts from, from here. Dubbridge doesn't get a treble. Nine no, has. So, Dennis for the match, Priestley. 40. He's already had four darts at tops and double ten to win this quarter-final. He's going to have to switch to tens again. Yes, yes, it's a but Dennis Priestley, Dennis Priestley. With a terrific performance to take out Mark Dubridge. Priestley with five 180s is through to a semi final showdown against his old adversary, Phil Taylor. Well, absolutely. That'll be going back to the old years when they played in the world finals. Dennis has got two stars on his shirt, and that was some fantastic star performance from Dennis there. Very, he'll be very pleased he's going to the semi final. Mark will be disappointed. He came out of the blocks there very well, but just seemed to die as the game went on. So we know our semi final lineup. Colin Lloyd will take on the Canadian David Fatton, and Phil Taylor will meet Dennis Priestley. We'll be back with more action from Connecticut very soon. <laughs>